No, it's time to don't go to the bottom of the night. Especially down there, next to the Iron Lake Bridge. I never really paid much attention to what he said. Till one night, me and my buddies were cooking. I'll never forget that night. The most terrifying night I've ever had in my life. I thought we was all gonna be dead. We wound up living. But only because our coon dogs let us back out of the deep swamp. I don't like talking about it, but lost one of the best hunt dogs that night. Damn this thing. Giant hairy things run bottom down there. Damn scary. Ask Ops T. You know, he seen it with me. He asked Jerome Wilson too. They both seen it with their own eyes. I remember me, Otis, Jerome, we loaded the dog in the truck. Got them all tied down real tight so they wouldn't fall out. We had it gone down the bottom. I remember we got there and the dogs were going crazy. There was some strange smell in the air. Some god awful odor. I don't know what it was. Bad. Well, hell, we cut the dogs loose and we said, hunt. They got on whatever it was. They got on the trail. There wasn't no damn coon either. Next thing I know, we hear trees crash. Oh, 
person lives, we get up, we all get our senses about us. It's not following the dogs out of the woods. Obviously took the lead and he would run as fast as he could. He made it past this big tree. And just when Jerome got to this big tree, this huge arm reached out and grabbed Jerome, lifted him up by the back of his coveralls. When this thing grabbed Jerome, he started screaming and hollering my name out. John, he's got me, John, help me. There was nothing I could do. Did it happen? His arm reached out and just ripped. Jerome Wilson's chest wide apart. I stood there and watched this. I couldn't believe what I was seeing. I raised my rifle up and I shot at this thing. I heard the bullet hit. He dropped Jerome and took off, running, making this terrible sound. I ran up to Jerome. He was just moaning there in pain. I could tell he was in pain. And I took my shirt off and I put it on Jerome Wilson's chest. Odyssey stopped, turned around and looked. He started running again and I'm hollering at Otis, Otis, get back here. We gotta get this man out of the woods. He's gonna die if we don't. We carried on. Otis come back and we picked him up and we put Jerome right between us and we drugged Jerome Wilson out of the woods.